This is Dirk Nansen with Waterline Boats in Boatshed, Seattle. The 1977 Alawaya 38 is a serious blue water cruiser. If you have any questions about that, this particular boat has been, since it uh, got started in 1977, on three circumnavigations. The current owner has had it for 30 years. He's cruised the East Coast. He's been to Bermuda and back, Caribbean, Mexico, all up and down the West Coast, and out to Hawaii and back. This boat has been refined, refurbished, and expertly maintained over the years, and it's ready to go again. The 1x19 wire rigging and the running rigging, as well as the chain plates, was replaced in between 2008 and 2010. The uh, new full batten mainsail by Neil Pride was installed in 2008. The other sails are by Nat Wilson of Maine and were done in 1993. That includes the Genoa, the Stay Sail, and the Yankee. There's also a Storm Jib and a Tri Sail on board, but they've never been used. You can see there the bronze uh, cover over the sliding hatch keeps that dry, as well as the uh, custom. In the companionway there, you can see the Garmin multifunction display for the radar sounder and plotter. Aft, we got the Carib Nautica rib. Also, there's a Yamaha 2.5 horsepower four stroke outboard. Overhead is one of the two 75 watt solar panels and the Garmin radar antenna. The Alawea is a classic blue water cruising design based on double enders by Colin Archer and William Atkin, but this has been substantially refined for improved performance under sail. This particular one has a full feathering three bladed prop, which helps considerably with sailing speed. With a boat like this one, the kind of history it's got, an owner who's been on it for 30 years and has been sailing all over and has been refining the boat for that length of time, you know that everything on the boat is set up so that it actually works. And you see that all through this boat. A lot of thought has gone into it, a lot of uh, testing and a lot of proving. And uh, you've got a boat that's really ready to go here. Under that lazarette hatch, you've got two aluminum propane tanks that feed the uh, cooking stove and oven. And underneath the teak grating in the cockpit here, you've got a, a large circular hatch that uh, leads down to the engine compartment, which is uh, amazingly clean. This is a picture of the aft end of the engine with the uh, new hearth gear on it recently installed. This is the engine from the hatch in the main salon. You can see how um, clean everything is there. Entering the main salon, you've got classic teak and holly floors. Basically the whole interior is trimmed with teak, including the headlining. This is the navigation table. You've got the DC panel and AC panel. You've got a full uh, DSC VHF with AIS receiver on it. The Garmin uh, plotter can bend around on arms so it's visible on the chart table as well. Got the Paul Luke Heritage stove and oven there. Uh, keel cooled refrigeration system here. Provides freezer and refrigeration capacity. Custom built hatches, beautifully finished in teak. Uh, the uh, refrigeration unit is back in the engine compartment. Plenty of storage there for long cruises. Cabin heat is provided by a Fabol diesel stove there. Forward on the bulkhead, you've got a backup compass. You've also got a Chelsea barometer and Chelsea matching ship's clock. These are often overlooked items, but uh, very pricey. About $1,500 for those, and they're new. Looking aft into the cabin, you can see the, the extra bunk above the uh, settee, the built-in couch on the port side, the nav station. This is the head. It's got a custom stainless steel sink, a manual toilet, 27-gallon holding tank, and there's also a shower.
forward cabin has a large berth, also a small seat and a cabinet uh, on the port side here. All the upholstery, all the cushions and mattresses uh, were replaced just in the last couple of years on this boat. Everything is in very, very nice condition. Looking aft into the main salon, again, this has been the 1977 Alawea 38. You can see the full listing, all the details for this boat on our website at waterlineboats.com or boatshedseattle.com. Thank you.